Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for Meme Tier Monday, Tuesday edition. We still have four more uh, donation decks from viewers to play um, that we didn't uh, that we didn't get to yesterday for Meme Tier Monday. So we're going to have another Meme Tier Tuesday. Plus, we now have the patch notes for um, patch 1.4. And we know like the 20 cards that are changing uh, with that. And uh, that's going to be implemented tomorrow. And so uh, it's a good time just to be playing some meme decks anyway. Plus, uh, we can't even play ranked right now, even if we wanted to. Ranked is closed until tomorrow, um, the reset of rank the rank new ranked season tomorrow. So our first deck is going to be Marauder Midrange. This deck is all about Legion Marauder. We're going to be trying to um, have a bunch of Legion Marauders attacking and granting our other Legion Marauders everywhere, plus one, plus one. So some things with that is we have um, Parade Electro Rig that can support the Legion Marauder and shuffle a whole bunch of, you know, shuffle four more copies into our deck. Um, we have Shady Characters that can um, uh, just basically clone our Legion Marauder. You know, we could basically have four mana Legion Marauders there. And if we're shuffling some more Legion Marauders into our deck, we want some card advantage to be able to draw them. So we have Rummages. That help us dig for that and you know we're playing the rummage plus chump Wump combo where we have those extra cards to discard and then we also have some progress days to help us uh, draw into them as well uh, besides that we have katarina that gives us that can give us extra attack steps by playing and rallying and with legion marauder you want as many attack steps as you can because it does have an attack trigger and then uh, our other champion is going to be swain basically because swain's pretty cool and does some cool stuff to help support our uh, Legion Marauders, we can either um, have a Sumpworks map that can give them elusive, give one of them elusive, so it doesn't really die, so you can keep on attacking with it. Plus, that Sumpworks map is awesome with Swain as well. And then we also have Legion Drummer, where if we use this to support, we can give the Legion Marauder quick attack, so it can be a real big quick attack, and they can't really block it profitably at all. All right, so that's our deck, Marauder mid range. Let's get to it. Um, we're gonna go play five games and uh, see how it goes. All right, we're playing another Katarina deck. Their Katarina Misfortune. So wanting the extra t attack steps for Misfortune. So Ravenous Flock. I don't think it really does anything. It's just a one of in our in our deck to like maybe have later on in the game if something's damaged that you know, can just help um, enable Swain kind of thing. But it's not not too big a deal to get rid of it. All right, leading off with the Legion Drummer, uh, so we can go Drummer into a Marauder into Shady Character. But now that they have Now that they give our Legion Drummer vulnerable, might as well just trade off two drops. No pray, no pay. Let's have some fun. What do we got here? All right, let's go, Marauders. Let's go. Let me show you. <laughs> GG's. They're already too big. They're already both 5 fours. Wasn't going to be able to kill them. And then they're just going to be attacking again, making 7-6s. But uh, we were going to have even uh, more Marauders. <laughs> so there we go. Pump them up. Yeah, we were quite lucky that game, drawing all three Marauders and a Shady character. Uh, that was a definitely a good game. Uh, Vi Heimerdinger. We'll just try again. <laughs> I 
That game was pretty crazy. Vi is another another option for a champion for, for this kind of deck. For those of y'all watching later on, the, uh, the person who made this deck does is a is a fan of Swain. And uh, we're playing some Swains, but that's another, you know, it's just kinda saying it's another option for you. Well, that's seven damage already for Swain. <laughs> proof that proof that any deck can uber stomp at the perfect hand. All right, jump lump. Go get him. Blocking. All right, so does mushroom? This is something that I haven't considered, and that's probably that's probably um, you know something that I shouldn't admit. This is probably something I should have considered, but. Puff caps and drawing puff caps, does that count as non-combat damage for leveling up Swain? Shows that I need to play more puff cap Swain decks. The answer is yes. That's that's what I would think. That is what I would have thought. It is what I would have thought. Right, but you, you can only transform or you can only pick followers with shady characters. You can't you can't choose champions. Unfortunately, we don't get to make Heimerdingers and things like that. Next turn, six mana. Basically debating whether or not to actually play the Mushroom Cloud. Or, you know, save the spell mana maybe for a progress day or for other things. I think I am going to play it. <laughs> There we go. Level up that Swain. Like, if I play Swain and then they just play, like, a big Vi, I can't really attack with either of these. Because neither of those get through a Vi. So the best play may be just to simply attack... Yeah, I wouldn't be as mad with a big thermogenic beam, even though the Swain would be dead, but we'd still be able to attack for four. Um, Alright, so then, this is a, like, if we play Shady Character, we don't get the play tr or this is a summon? Like, do we get, do we get the two Mushroom Clouds here? How does that work? Do we get the Mushroom Clouds? <laughs> I haven't played too much Shady Character. I feel like I'm a... A rookie. Okay, Rornick says no. Okay. So it's already summoned, it's just copies it afterwards. Alright, well then in that case, let's 
play. Electro Rig. Next turn, seven, E9. All right, just Electro Rig. Okay, those are pretty good. The world Forward. This could be one of, like, there's a very good chance this is Vi here, and they wanted me to play something else. All right, that's fine. that. I like that. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. Oh no! I assume we just shuffled elusive swains into our deck for elusive swains. That's my assumption. Rude. It would just be normal Swains. Boo. Yeah, they, they could still block with the 3-2. Yeah, so that's why I gave it the elusive, so they couldn't block with that thing. Dog's like sharpening its claws on the carpet, I guess. Uh, what do we want to do? Just replay Swain. We only have six mana if we re replay Swain, so don't get to progress day. If we progress. Love options. I'm gonna just play this way now. It's kind of weird there. Yeah, I was going to say that'd be weird for them to attack with that thing. Oh, <laughs> 
Let's have some fun. <laughs> Hush about your legacy, Swain. There's a million more of you in the deck. So we'll have 12 mana next turn. We'll have enough for the progress day and a Swain. Alright, not bad. Not bad. I wanted to draw another Legion Marauder so that they could attack and both be 5-4s. That's what I was hoping. Um... But let's see, they're at 8. I have 5 points of direct damage. So we're getting close to killing them. I guess 6 points. We have the, the Blade's Edge from the Katarina. And they, they still have 8 Puff Caps out of 22 cards. Could be that I should just be looking for burn spells. And I don't really need more Legion Marauders in the deck. Ugh. I was hoping to use Ravenous Block to finish that off. But Swain's gone. Swain's gone for now. But he's never gone for good. <laughs> yes, I am, Mike. Yeah, I'm real excited about the Omen Hawk buff. <laughs> Guess you, you could call it that. Definitely real excited about Omen Hawk buff. I mean, I'm, I'm glad they didn't nerf Omen Hawk or Sejuani. So yeah, they've played two. Uh, they've played two um, Will of Ionias. Cool, that's good. Getting that life steal barrier out of there. That's good, that's good. Now th that's their second lifesteal barrier card. Yes, yes, again. So they're at seven? Three, four, five. Six. I'm doing this right now while we know this is going to resolve. I 
I would not have played that if if they didn't play their three one. I would not have played that and you know not let them just play the three one. Ooh, that's good. Okay, so you are gonna be. If I play you, can attack a few times. Alright, I'm not gonna attack a few times. Wow, that is awesome. Sure. Takes up their whole turn. All we need them to do is draw one puff cap. Seventeen. Well, we need them to draw one puff cap and not have a deny for the mystic shot. I guess I don't have the mana to mystic shot right now, also. I really wish I did. So just draw three puff caps. Just draw three puff caps. Don't worry about it. Draw three. No, zero. Zero puff caps? Uh, both last turn and this turn, zero puff caps. Ugh. Wait, zero puff caps. Excuse you. I hope they just made all progress days. No. They draw zero puff caps. Lame. Two turns in a row. They drew zero. We need them just to draw one and one of those, one puff cap, one of those other last two turns. Let it in. Okay, let's see. We got Marauder, which is good. And let's try out some new ones. Okay, so I like how we have the Mystic Shot to help protect Marauder a little bit. Um, I'm gonna just pass. Yeah, and bank bank that mana for Marauder. I felt pretty good last game whenever they tapped out for the thermogenic beam. Felt pretty good that, uh, you know, they would draw one puff cap. But it didn't. Alright, 
Gym Marauder. Doing its thing. I guess I guess I probably should just use I should use this ravenous flock. Would that have worked? Would it have counted as damaged or stunned? Anyone hurt? <laughs> I should use that thing. Don't kill him. I'm glad they don't die to twisted fate. Never lost a fair game. Speaking of, boo. Well, I guess they died to both of those. it would have been safer to be able to protect with legion you know protect the marauder with legion drummer like it would have been nice to play legion drummer katarina first but i didn't want to do that and then they play whatever removal spell and kill my marauder before i get to attack with it i wanted to make sure that we were attacking with the marauder and um maybe that can protect against a if they are if they were planning on make it rain maybe make it rain misses now Mm, they're planning on that. I'm a people person. Yeah. House spider should be something else. House spider seems kind of weird. Should just be Kempunk pickpocket. Um. We want to play Katarina at the end of their turn and then um, and then after playing Katarina at the end of their turn, go straight to attacking with it on our turn. So we'll either go Chump Wump plus Rummage or the Katarina at their, tur their turn. You know, we'll be able to do one of these two. Um. We'll go Chump Wump Rummage. Nah, get rid of I think it's pretty likely they have Grasp of the Undying that would kill the Katarina. But maybe not. Oh, maybe not. I really wish I would have used the Ravenous Flock on that other thing at the beginning of the game and had then I still would have Mystic Shot for that thing.
This is sad. Oh, slot bot doesn't count as damage. Okay, so I couldn't actually, even though it was red, it was didn't actually count as damaged. So it would not have worked. You got three out of twelve. Yeah, that was a huge, huge withering whale. I, 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 I don't like these house spiders. I think they should be Kempunk pickpocket. That's what I prefer. Alright, so our, our plan, of course, is Swain Sumpworks map. That's our plan. Um, we'll have the Shady character copy the slot bot. All right, they got six cards, I got two. Not be a bad time for progress day. We got the two progress days, so not be a bad time for one. Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me. Vision to see what others cannot. And we should be able to level up Swain. Unfortunately, Swain wasn't like already leveled up. Really nice. All right, and now we draw a progress day. Here we go, progress day. No, we don't have any Crimson Transfusion Synergy. That it probably would be good, honestly. Like that Crimson Disciple probably that that wouldn't be a bad place to be. Have Crimson Disciple and just have Crimson Disciple instead of uh, instead of that other instead of House Spider, and then just play Transfusions where Transfusion can help protect. Um, all of our cards uh, protect Legion Marauder, protect um, Katarina. Transfusion would make a lot of sense. I like that. Um, Alright, so if House Spider turns into Crimson Disciple, because yeah, that, that just helps level up Swain too. Ugh. Yuck. 
could take out the Ravenous block for Transfusion and... I don't know, this Noxian Guillotine that gets stolen and kills all of our stuff. I've seen that quite a bit. It's usually been me, though, playing against, like, Braum decks with a one of Noxian Guillotine, and I steal it with Pilfer Goods and then and have them lose because of it. All right, well, there was a progress day, but wrong person had it. Do you want me, Cabo? Do you want me to change House Spider? Or do you want me to keep playing House Spider? Okay. Go and change it. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's just a lot better card with the current meta game. Like the, the two two and one one aren't too valuable. So if we play Crimson Disciples, and then we have Transfusions to protect stuff, and also uh, level up and all that kind of stuff. So how would we fit in three Transfusions though? Take out the Ravenous Flock. That can go. Hey, new Bloco. Um, what else hasn't looked so good? Shady Character hasn't looked great, but I think we keep it. I think that's really good with Marauder. I, I want to keep Shady Character. Um, we could go down one Electro Rig. Um... Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, let's go down one Electro Rig. And probably we'd probably need to cut another spell. Want to be like twenty? I don't know if we want to go nineteen. So I I don't think it's a I think it's a spell. Um. What spell? Is it just the guillotine? It probably is. Honestly, we don't really do like little bits of damage to anything. Yeah, I think it's I think it's the guillotine. All right, let's try this. That was kind of the problem with the ravenous block. Also, we, this deck this deck isn't designed to do little bits of damage to stuff. Uh, so let's get rid of those and like, you know, guillotine doesn't help level up Swain. Callista Elise. Well, I definitely want Thermogenic Beam. Fervor's not bad, but let's look for other stuff. Okay. So we're going to play Crimson Dis Disciple plus Transfusion. I'm changing the deck list on Mobilitics. And we're taking out... That card, that card, what else? The three house spiders, and what was the other one? The, a, a parade electro rig, okay. Uh, we march as one, an unstoppable force. An unstoppable force. <gasps> we weren't expecting callers. To victory. I like giving, you know, having like Sumperk's map, 
Legion Drummer, that's kind of cool. Like, you could have Legion Drummer have Elusive for whenever it attacks. That's not bad. Man, opponent's cheating over here with their 4-4. Four, four. That, that thing should be a 4-3. Cheating. Hey, Wakanda. Yeah, I like the I like the Poro Herder being a two mana card. I think that that works really well. Um, what do I think about the patch? Oh yeah, the patch just had great great changes. So sad they didn't touch NAP. What's NAP? I don't I don't know what that means. Bummer. I don't know what NAP is supposed to be. Good at shorthand. No going back. Oh, nap. Oh, nab. Okay. Yeah, okay. This might right, okay. Right, nab. Um, I mean, they, yeah, like, they have the... The one thing is now... Um, I guess we pick this up. Yeah, now that we, now we know that, uh, the Black Market Merchant's a 2-1 instead of a 2-2. It's a small change. No, the new patch is live tomorrow. Ha, they'll never know what killed them. Yeah, it was announced today. So we know what the changes will be, but the changes aren't enacted until tomorrow. Neverglade Collector is just going to kill me. Let's see what you can do. I go to one. You dare oppose. If I keep Swain alive, I go to one. But Neverglade like, Collector is still just going to kill me. It's so, like I have to block like this. Come here, darling. Blech. 
I mean, we're just playing normal because ranked is shut off. <laughs> and they're just playing all these cards that are changed tomorrow. I guess they want to get play these cards that before they get nerfed. Like, they wouldn't have been able to Fury of the North plus um, plus they who enter like that tomorrow, and they wouldn't have had that 4-4. Four -four. They would have had a 4-3 that would have been able to block with our 3-2 tomorrow. Ugh, that would have really helped. Misfortune Quinn. Alright, Thorwolf with the donation deck. Got a Shen deck. Shen Lux. Alright. Down. Oh man, I wish we had two mana to go along with. Anyone hurt? <laughs> I really wish we had two mana right now for both Mystic Shot and Transfusion. Or Sumpworks map. That thing, that would have been good. Alright, so wait, so if I if I Sumpworks map this and then I shady character it, will this thing would have Right, like the the shady character would have elusive as well, right? Seems like that how that's supposed to work. Yeah, single combat's a thing. Not a cool thing. But it's a thing. Straight away from card changes, there is Unyielding Spirit in your deck, but I don't really feel it in actual win con, okay. My Come on, work. Man, that would have been great if they were still, um, you know, if those were growing both, so like if those were five power, that would have been great. The quiet of the woods, there's nothing like it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, Purify wrecked us. Hmm. Our opponents have had some pretty good hands today. That's alright, that, that, that happens.
That Badger Bear is just a really good turn three play. Shut me down from attacking with Marauder, but maybe I needed to. Stop uh, multiple attacks from the Badger Bear. Great hand, great hand. Um, yeah, just didn't didn't quite work. We are pretty competitive though. You know, we, we're in in some close games and everything like that. But uh, yeah, just it's tough to play. Tough to make a, a Legion Marauder deck where you're real focused on a Legion Marauder. Um, I think probably the, the best way to make this kind of deck is just make a just kind of like a regular aggro deck and just have Legion Marauders in it and not really focus that much on Legion Marauder. The Sumpworks maps are like that's that's a neat that's a neat thing that looked like it could be pretty good, but our opponents just always had answers and so we were just kept two for wanting ourselves with the Sumpworks maps. Um, but even though like it had had a lot of potential, it just never paid off. Um, but yeah, you know, we just, we played against a bunch of good decks and, uh, they had some good, they had good hands and they had good answers. Um, you like, we weren't, yeah, we were playing against the top decks, you know, with the, they who endure and Vimerdinger and stuff like that. That scout opponent kind of had the, the perfect card for the perfect time against us too. So that's what happens sometimes doesn't always work out um all right but that's it here for marauder midrange those y'all watching later on on youtube feel free to uh, hit that like button over there and leave some comments if you got any ideas with legion marauder if you've been playing it yourself feel free to uh, leave those deck codes over in the comments or anything else you want to say if you want to talk about patch one four uh, you know, you have any questions for me about patch one four, put them out there in the comment section. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Marauder Midrange and I'll see you for the next video.